this video I'm going to show you how to perform a C++ program that finds the number of objects that are created in a class. So it's a very simple program. So let's get started. So first, go and type hash include. So this program basically prints the number of objects that you have created. So that's the main name of this program. So starting with the header files, I was stream and using namespace std. Okay, and the next thing that we're going to do is our int count. Okay, so I'm defining this as a global variable. So because if you declare inside the class, it, uh, it's we need to create a, we need to access it only through the particular object. So we can't get the count actually. So by defining it globally, we can use this uh, throughout the uh, program inside the class, outside the class, even in the main function without any problem. We are creating an instance of the class. So that's why I'm declaring this as a global variable. So for those those who doesn't don't know about global variable, so the global variable is an ordinary variable that is declared at the top of the program. So then uh, below the header files. So it has the global variable as a scope is scope is throughout the programs, uh, which means it can be accessed from anywhere throughout the program. So there are different types of scopes uh, variable. It's a uh, scope is within the block. Scope is within the function, and the scope of this global variable is throughout the entire program. So that's the global variable. So the next we can continue. We are just going to create a class known as obj object class object and count. Okay, open brackets. And inside the class, we are going to create public. Okay. It has doesn't gonna it's not going to have any data members. Okay. Only it uh, is going to have only a constructor. Okay. So constructor, it's going to be object obj. And this is going to be the constructor. Okay. Constructor and inside the counts constructor, we are just going to Increment the count, okay. So that's why I have assigned count equal to zero. So that's it, the class is over. So as you can see, I have just created a simple class obj and I'm having a uh, obj named constructor, okay, in public access modifier. So next thing I'm going to do is just going to go and create the int main, int main, and I'm just going to create obj here. I'm going to give the create the object. So I'm going to just call it O1 comma and OBJ I OB1 comma OB2 comma OB3 OB4 comma OB5. Okay. So that's it. It's pretty much simple. I've created five objects over here. And next thing we're just going to display our number of objects created equal to so we're just going to print count so that's it pretty much that's we have run it we have actually created five objects over here so what it basically does is this is a constructor so the constructor gets implemented at the, at the point when an object of the class gets created so when ob ob1 is created it automatically has an instance uh, it passes a reference to the constructor present in the class so when ob1 is created it go it passes a reference to the object and it's it's get called and count value gets incremented so ob2 it gets twice trace four five so five times it get added with one and the value count value will be five okay that's a pretty much concept over here it's similar to calling a function by using by using an object we call it generally call a we declare a function inside public inside a class and we refer to it by calling it with the object so that's pretty much similar thing that we are doing here so it's just a thing of uh, default constructor, you know, three types of constructors. I've done a separate video on types of constructors. So default, parameterized, and copy. So this is a default constructor, so basic one. So whenever object is created, the instance of a constructor gets added to it. And because of that instance, our count value gets incremented. So if I execute this program, you will definitely get the output as 5. Save, save somewhere else. So as you can see a number of objects created, you can see it clearly it's equal to 5. So pretty much the concept of a constructor, very much constructor and default constructor will do it. So that's it. I think this can't be done by using a array of objects because array of objects, anyway, we are, you are going to just give the input the number of objects. So obviously, you know, before creating the program number of objects, but using it this way, you can manually print the number of objects that you have created in the program. So that's how this program works. So 
So another way of doing it is like manually uh, having a function and you're just going to print it five times okay creating object obj one of count like obj count uh calculate count another function by doing that i think that's a difficult one long process so this is pretty much simple and easy so that's it also check other tutorials special channel thank you